Presser coming up. Hey guys, I'm Johnny with PewPewTactical.com, your definitive source for gun reviews, gear guides, and all things that go bang. Today we're taking a look at the Banish 30 from Silencer Central. I'm going to tell you all about it. I get it out to the range and help you decide if you need more quiet in your life. Hey, if it's your first time here, we always put a ton of stuff right down below for you to check out, including a link that's going to jump over to our website. Once you get on the website, look up above and down below. There's a lot of stuff in the article to help you out in the bang department. So check it out and see what you think. We also have this one and a lot of other Pew Pew Tactical merch in our merch store. Link is below. Okay, this one is the Banish 30. It's essentially a 30 caliber can from Silencer Central. It's rated for everything between 17 rim fire up to 300 win mag. You can set it up to be either seven inches or nine inches, but I ran it with a full nine inches all day. Now the huge thing is that this one is light. Now a lot of cans today are steel or aluminum, but this bad boy is titanium and depending on which setup you go with, it weighs 10 or 13 ounces. And that titanium is uber level durable. It's gonna outlive all of us and it's rated also for full auto and has a lifetime warranty. Now it's direct thread to 5 8 by 24, but you can get a collar that's gonna go on your half by 28 barrels, and it's what I used with all of my rifles. As far as aesthetics, it's a black cylinder, no strong opinion there, but what I do like is what's inside. The entire suppressor comes apart so you can clean it yourself, and that one is huge. Now what it comes with is, yeah, you guessed it, a cardboard box. And you're gonna see some other shots here with the Banish 30 next to the Banish 45. I'll review that 45 in a separate article. MSRP right now as tested is $979, but keep in mind that does not include paying homage to the ATF. And speaking of the government, this next part is not a commercial. I just kind of think it's cool. If you pick up a Banish 30, Silencer Central handles all the paperwork needed to get your tax stamp from the ATF. Now they're set up with all 42 states where suppressors are legal and after your stamp goes through, they ship directly to your door. Having someone else do your paperwork is the bee's knees. Okay, let's get out to the range. For this test, since the suppressor is an NFA item and not in my name, Ryan from Silencer Central spent the day with me. Now we fired a boatload of HSM and we let her rip. We did mostly 5.56 from a full length barrel and with my Galil Ace pistol with a shorter barrel and we also brought out the big boy, the 308. Now one thing that just does not translate to video is the noise difference between firing without a can and with a can and with no reservation, the Banish 30 is quiet. I shoot a lot of cans and this one is solid, like instant quiet at the range. And that's exactly what Silencer Central says to expect. All of their cans, including the 30, are guaranteed to be hearing safe. And that's gonna bring your rifle down below OSHA standards. I still wore Ear Pro because I always wear Ear Pro with rifles, but Silencer Central says you don't have to wear hearing protection. Now this can is rated at minus 34 decibels. Ryan brought out the science machine so I could see the sound reduction myself and yep, it's in the minus mid 30s consistently. And for you non-science people, that means it takes the bark out of the dog. Now, whether you're hunting or for me, what I wanna have is a hearing safe bedside gun. The Banish 30 is gonna be tolerably quiet. Now this next thing, there's no real easy way to measure. I ate a ton less gas with the Banish 30 compared to my personal cans. I fired that Galil Ace a lot suppressed and the Banish did an outstanding job of getting that gas down range and not back into my face. Okay, let me tell you what I like. The big one is that Silencer Central handles all that ATF paperwork stuff. I already told you that. Now for me, that's huge. But for the Banish 30, three things specifically that I like. First, it's the weight or the lack of it. 13 ounces is decent. Second, I love that you can clean and maintain the Banish on your own. I like that. And finally, it's those decibels. Hearing safe is a big deal. So it's solid that the Banish 30 does exactly what it's supposed to do. It suppresses that sound. Now, as far as shortcomings, I've got one. It's not super huge, but 
it's that the banished line are mounted with direct thread. So for those of you that are used to having a quick connect suppressor, this one ain't gonna be like that at all. You're gonna have to screw it all the way on and all the way off every time. First world problems. Overall, I had a great time with the Banish 30. It's quiet, it's crazy durable with the titanium, and it makes going to the range a whole different experience. Solid can. On behalf of the entire Pew Pew Tactical team, I'm Johnny, and we'll see you soon.